In this video, we'll go through an Edexcel A-level business paper. Paper two, business activities, decisions, and strategy. I'll put a link to the paper in the description box. Practice in past papers is an essential element for exam success. So I'm really glad you're here. Feel free to pause the video when you need to and answer the questions with me. Do check out these videos as they may be important to you. I will put the link to them in the description box. And if you found this video useful, then do hit that like button and share with a classmate. Our first question. Explain one reason Montas has always used internal finance to establish and expand its business. Now, if you're not sure how to approach and maximise marks with the four markers, then do check out that video at the bottom of the screen. I will put the link to it in the description box. Mumtaz Food Group. Mumtaz is an Asian food producer in Bradford. It is a private limited company owned and run by the Akbar family. Established as a takeaway restaurant in 1979, it now owns three restaurants and food processing factories that make ready meals. It has always used internal finance to establish and grow the business. Mums has had sales revenues of around £25 million, unlike many of its rivals that produce ready meals for the supermarket's own label brands. Mumtaz sells most of its products under the Mumtaz Premium brand name. Asda, Morrison and Tesco are among the supermarkets that sell Mumtaz products and they are also sold in more than 40 countries. The ready meals part of the group is growing by 15-20% to 20 a year. In 2006, a new product range of halal baby food was launched after Mumtaz became aware of how difficult it was for Muslim parents to find halal baby food. Today, roughly half of all Mumtaz baby food is bought by non-Muslim customers. Mumtaz intends to continue to expand by organic growth. It recently opened a second factory in Bradford to meet the increased demand for its ready meals. It is also considering setting up manufacturing operations in Asia. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. For knowledge and understanding, you need to show an understanding of internal finance, finance which is generated within the business or the owner's capital, personal savings, retained profit, or given a reason for using internal finance such as retained control. For application, they're looking for two references to the case study. Mumtaz is a private limited company owned entirely by the Akbar family. Or, high sales, revenue and growth of ready meals indicates a business can use retained profits as a source of finance. Or you might have had sales revenue of around £25 million and ready meals part of the business is growing by 15-20% to 20 per year. For your analysis, your reason, your cause... Internal finance is cheaper as there are no borrowing costs such as interest payments. Or internal finance enables the Akbar family to retain control of the business. Our next question, and it's a calculation question. Using the data in extract B, calculate the margin of safety. You are advised to show your work in. So do have a look at extract B, have a look at the table there and the figures. Do give this question a go. On to the mark scheme. First thing we do is jot down the formula, margin of safety equals sales volume minus break-even output. Then we need to calculate the unit contribution. So that is the selling price, £5, minus the variable cost per unit, which is £2. And that gives us £3. We then need to use the break-even formula, which is fixed cost divided by the unit contribution, which is going to be 3 divided by 3, and that equates to 1 million units. So the margin of safety is... 1.5 minus 1 million, that equals 500,000 units. Next question, and it's a 10 mark question. Assess whether expanding by organic growth was the right decision for Mumtaz. So you can pause the video and give this question a go. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. So you might have included that organic growth occurs when a business expands internally and does not involve another business taking over or merging with it. The reasons for organic growth. Mumtaz retains control, especially as it is a family-owned business. 
it maintains its existing management structure, culture. It enables the business to plan for and control growth. For example, the decision to enter the Ready Meals and Halal Baby Food Market, plus to open its own restaurants and factories. Now the counterbalance. Organic growth is slower. For example, Mumtaz Foods had existed since 1979 and has only gradually grown to its current size. Organic growth is limited. For example, the business has only expanded in the Asian food market. Limited finance available to fund organic growth. For example, Mumtaz has only used internal finance. Let's have potential judgment. Organic growth is the right decision because it enables the business to maintain control, which is especially important because Mumtaz is a long established business that has always been owned by the Akbar family. Or, organic growth is not the right decision because the business may have been slower than its competitors to grasp opportunities offered by the growing ready meals market. Our next question, using the data and extract C, assess the likely impact of the forecast changes in the UK economy on a business such as Mumtaz. Do review the information in extract C because it is going to be relevant and very much pertinent to this answer. You would need to include some figures as well. You can see that there's been an increase from 2016 to 2020 for economic growth in regards to the GDP, gross domestic product. From 0.5% to 1%. Inflation has also increased from 1.2% to 2.7%. Unemployment has increased also from 4.8% to 6.5%. And the US dollars to the sterling exchange rate has changed from 1.23 to 0.99. So you need to be able to gauge which relevant information from that is going to be relevant to your answer. Over to the mark scheme. Economic growth is an increase in the output of goods and services produced in an economy over time. Inflation measures a general rise in aggregate prices. Aggregate means total. Unemployment measures the percentage of the working population who are without a job and actively seeking work. The pound to dollar exchange rate measures how many dollars can be exchanged for one pound. Impacts. Rising unemployment could negatively affect Mumtaz's restaurants due to customers cutting back on meals out given lower disposable income. Rising inflation from 1.2% to 2.7% may add to Mumtaz's costs such as energy which may result in a fall in profit margins. A weaker pound, a fall of 24 cents between 2016 and 2020 could result in higher import costs, especially for ingredients if they are priced in dollars. Potential counterbalance. Rising unemployment may benefit the ready meals business because as customers may prefer to stay at home and choose an affordable treat rather than eating out. Rising inflation may be passed on in the form of higher prices, which could have little impact given that Mumtaz food sells premium products. A weaker pound could benefit Mumtaz's export sales, especially as its ready meals products are sold in more than 40 countries. Potential judgment. The unemployment rate is forecast to increase from 4.8% to 6.5%, which may have a negative impact on the restaurant because it is a luxury good and people may need to make economies, they may need to cut back. Rising unemployment may have a positive impact because of the greater availability of workers, especially for Mumtaz's new factory in Bradford. Impact may be negative for the restaurants because demand is likely to be more income elastic but positive for ready meals. Overall, impact on Mumtaz may depend upon which part of the business is bigger, the restaurants or the ready meals. On to the first 20 marker. Mumtaz's aim is to become the UK's market leader in Asian ready meals. To achieve this, it could produce own label ready meals for supermarkets or focus on selling more Mumtaz premium brand name products. You are required to evaluate these two options and recommend which is most suitable for Mumtaz to achieve its aim. Now, we haven't seen extract D, the UK ready meals market. The UK ready meals market grew by 2% in volume and value in 2016. 
Sales of ready meals benefited from the trend towards premium products amongst consumers. The popularity of ready meals was due to their convenience as well as the growing number of single person households. Supermarkets' own label products remained the leader in ready meals with a combined 68% market share, with Tesco having the highest percentage of 18%. Retailers offered different recipes which, in turn, helped them to meet a wide range of consumer tastes. Supermarkets' own label products are also rely heavily on price discounts and promotional offers in order to attract more price-sensitive buyers. Convenience is likely to be an important factor in driving sales of ready meals but so is the introduction of new product ranges. So you can pause the video and give this question a go. Arguments for producing own label ready meals for supermarkets. The ready meals market grew by 2% in volume and value in 2016. Supermarket own label ready meals have a combined market share of 68%, with Tesco owning 18%. Mumtaz already supplies Tesco, Asda and Morrison's own label ready meals can be used by supermarkets to meet a wide range of customer needs and specific tastes. Mumtaz has increased its production capacity, enabling it to meet the potential increased demand from supermarkets. Increased demand may enable the business to benefit from economies of scale and higher levels of capacity utilisation, resulting in lower unit costs. Higher sales and lower unit costs may result in greater profitability and further expansion for Mumtaz Foods. Arguments for selling more Mumtaz premium brand name products. There is a trend amongst consumers to prefer premium ready meals. It is predicted that future success may be for innovative new products. Mumtaz's successful halal baby food range proves that it is capable of developing successful new products. Ansoft would classify this strategy as market penetration, which carries the least risk. Porter would classify this strategy as differentiation, enabling Mumtaz to gain a competitive advantage through a USP of quantity and authenticity. Own label relies heavily on price discounts and promotional offers, focusing on selling Mumtaz products would avoid this and enable the business to charge higher prices. Over to the possible recommendations and points on how you could include MOPS in this recommendation as well. If you do want to see an example of how MOPS is included in a 20 mark essay, then do check out that video. Mumtaz should choose the option of supermarket own label ready meals because supermarkets own 68% of the market. Supermarkets have a greater distribution which might therefore Enable Mumtaz to sell more of their products and enable them to achieve the aim of becoming the UK's market leader in Asian ready meals. Or Mumtaz should choose to sell more Mumtaz premium brand name products because it is an established brand that is already growing rapidly in UK supermarkets and abroad. This strategy is less risky as it is not dependent on a few supermarkets and enables the business to maintain competitive advantage through differentiation. So MOP stands for Market Objectives Product Situation and they like for students to include MOPs because it helps you contextualise your recommendation, your final paragraph. Market. The market is a ready meals market. It is a growing market which is dominated by supermarket owned brands. Consequently, in order to achieve the aim of market leader, focusing on producing own label ready meals would appear to be the best option. Objectives. Mumtaz aims to be the market leader in Asian ready meals. It already has an established reputation for premium products and supplies the big supermarkets, for example Tesco 18%, with its own products. Consequently, selling more Mumtaz premium brand products would be the best option. Product Mumtaz is innovative. Example, the new halal baby food range. The introduction of new product ranges is an important factor in driving sales. Retailers offer different recipes which enable them to meet a wide range of consumer tastes. Consequently, the supermarket own label option should be chosen because it offers Mumtaz more opportunities to sell a wider range of products enabling it to achieve its aim of becoming market leader.
And finally, the situation. Mumtaz is an expanding business with the ready meals part of the group growing by 15 to 20 percent a year. It also it is also exporting to over 40 countries and planning to manufacture ready meals in Asia. Consequently, the best option would be to focus on premium brand products so they could establish Mumtaz as a global brand and achieve its aim to become a market leader. On to section B. Explain one internal cause of the business failure of MG Rover Group. The business failure of MG Rover Group. The MG Rover Group was the last UK-owned mass production car manufacturer in the British motor industry. The company failed in 2005. MG Rover Group did not produce new and improved cars and its existing brands such as Triumph and Rover competed with each other. The original Mini, which was produced by MG Rover Group, sold in millions of units but never made much profit because of its high production costs. Also, UK consumer tastes were rapidly changing as they preferred new foreign cars. The business failure of MG Rover Group The MG Rover Group was the last UK-owned mass production car manufacturer in the British motor industry. The company failed in 2005. MG Rover Group did not produce new and improved cars and its existing brands such as Triumph and Rover competed with each other. The original Mini, which was produced by MG Rover Group, sold in millions of units but never made much profit because of its high production costs. Also, UK consumer tastes were rapidly changing as they preferred new foreign cars. Let's take a look at the Mark Scheme. For knowledge, you could show an understanding of an internal cause of business failure, such as machinery breakdown or cash flow problems. For application, two references to the case study, you could include information such as failure to produce new and improved models, high production costs of the Mini. For analysis, your reason, your cause, failure to produce new and improved models may lead to poor sales as customers prefer superior cars from foreign rivals. Or higher production costs resulting from poor efficiency may lead to poor profit margins. On to a four mark calculation question. Using the data in extract F, calculate the monthly labour cost per car. You are advised to show your working. The formula you need for this is output per month divided by the number of workers. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. Output per month divided by the number of workers. So the output per month is 20,000 cars. Number of production workers, that's 400. That gives you 50 cars per worker. The labour cost per car is 2,000 divided by 50, which equals 40 pounds. Or there's another way to work it out as well. Fairly straightforward there. We're on to a 10 mark question. Assess the likely effects of employee legislation on a business such as VW. Changes at Volkswagen. VW aims to create 9,000 new jobs as it shifts to sell self-driving cars. The new chief executive, Matthias Muller, said it was the biggest modernisation programme in the history of the group's core brand. The VW brand needs a real shake-up. During a presentation at the Paris Motor Show, Matthias Muller said that VW has teamed up with Get, a rival to Uber, to create a self-driving mobility service for businesses. In 2016, VW cut 30,000 jobs globally, partly due to the fall in popularity of its diesel cars. This was as a consequence of VW being fined 15 billion for cheating in emission tests on its diesel cars. The VW brand was struggling even before the emission scandal damaged its reputation. It had weak profitability, high labour costs and a complex organisational structure. So you can pause the video and give this question a go. On to the mark scheme. Employee legislation ensures that businesses comply with laws such as national minimum wage, rights for redundancy, equal opportunities and health and safety. Potential negative effects. VW is cutting 30,000 jobs as a result of having to reduce costs due to the $15 billion fine caused by the cheating emission scandal. This may have led to significant redundancy costs. VW is creating 9,000 new jobs as it shifts to self-driving cars. It will need to ensure that it implements correct recruitment 
and selection procedures in order to avoid being accused of discrimination. This may make the procedure longer and more expensive. Increased costs of having to comply with legislation such as health and safety by ensuring safe working conditions in VW's factories. Now on to the potential counterbalance. VW may be able to restore its reputation by being seen as a good employer. VW may gain favourable publicity and attract better quality candidates for vacancies. By complying with health and safety legislation, VW may gain benefits such as fewer industrial accidents and improved employee morale. Now for the potential judgement. In the long term, by complying with legislation, VW may gain positive effects enabling it to restore its reputation with both employers and customers. On to a 12 mark question. Corporate timescales can be short term or long term. Assess Toyota's decision to issue Model AA shares as a means of raising finance. Toyota test drives a new hybrid. Toyota shareholders last week approved the issue of 50 million new shares and not just any new shares. The new model AA shares must be held for five years and cannot be sold earlier. Toyota will pay a guaranteed dividend that increases each year through the five-year period. At the end, shareholders can sell the shares back to the company at the price they paid or convert them to ordinary shares. The idea, according to the company, is to raise $4 billion from long-term investors so that Toyota can invest in the car of the future. Applications for the shares were about 10 times more than the amount on offer. The firm's managers see this investment as a response to short-termism, sheltered from some of the pressure to drive the share price up immediately. Toyota's managers will be able to look further ahead. Some business analysts have criticised these shares for giving managers too much protection from the demands of shareholders. Over to the Mark scheme, reasons for issuing AA shares, a long-term approach. It provides Toyota's managers with more time to develop new cars because model AA shares must be held for five years. Toyota aims to raise $4 billion for long-term investment in the car of the future, including areas such as R&D, technology and staff development. Toyota shareholders could benefit from sustained profitability. For example, Model AA shareholders are paid a guaranteed dividend each year. Now the possible counterbalance. Some shareholders may demand more immediate rewards. This may force managers to work more efficiently because Toyota need to satisfy their demands. Some shareholders may encourage managers to respond more quickly to market changes. For example, a rise in demand for hybrid and electric cars and Criticisms of diesel cars in order to generate immediate returns. Shareholders own the business and may expect good dividends and a rise in share price each year. Potential judgment. Toyota is in a highly competitive dynamic market and needs to respond quickly to market changes and consumer preferences. This supports meeting the needs of short-term investors. Toyota requires long-term investors because it needs to invest in assets such as robotics and a plant in order to maintain competitiveness in a market known for innovation and technological. Ultimately, a long-term investment will only work if shareholders are prepared to be patient and accept this strategy. On to a 20-mark question. VW's new chief executive has been given the aim of increasing the company's profitability. The two options VW is considering are to develop a new range of self-driving cars to improve productivity. Evaluate these two options and recommend which is most suitable to achieve the aim of increasing profitability for a business such as VW. Over to the Mark scheme. Arguments for developing a new range of self-driving cars. The market for self-driving cars is predicted to grow. VW hoped to exploit this through its partnership with GET. Consumers may prefer self-driving cars because of their greater convenience. Diesel cars are becoming less popular. By shifting to self-driving cars, VW is moving away from a declining market. Ansof would classify this strategy as new product development. VW may be able to gain a competitive advantage over its rivals. Arguments for improving productivity. Improving productivity may reduce unit costs by spreading the fixed costs of labour or machinery over more units. 
lower unit costs may enable VW to charge more, competitive prices and or increase profit margins. Car production is capital intensive, improved productivity may be achieved via investment in new technology. VW is cutting 30,000 jobs, so it may need to improve the labour productivity of its existing workforce in order to meet demand. Potential recommendation. VW should choose to develop a new range of self-driving cars because it could help restore its brand image and attract more customers to increase its revenue more than the increase of costs. VW should choose to improve its productivity because lowering unit costs is essential for improving profitability given the competitiveness of the car industry and the possible high numerical value of PED. In the short term, improving productivity is more important because the business needs to quickly improve its profitability after the diesel emission scandal. In the long term, developing a new range of self-driving cars is more important due to the predicted changes in the car industry and here's how you could implement mops in the recommendation for the market you could refer to the car market being dynamic the rise in popularity of electric and self-driving cars Volkswagen need to keep up with changing customer tastes consequently self-driving cars should be developed to increase sales market share in order to achieve its aim for the objectives Volkswagen is suffering from weak profitability and needs to become more efficient as a result. Consequently, it should improve productivity in the short term in order to achieve its aim. Product. Volkswagen current diesel cars are losing popularity. As such, it needs to be more innovative and develop cars that meet changing consumer tastes. Consequently, it should develop a new range of self-driving cars in order to achieve its aim. Situation. Volkswagen needs a real shake-up as it has high labour costs and a complex organisational structure. In short term, it needs to improve its productivity first in order to generate the profits required for developing the new self-driving cars. Now don't forget, when it comes to MOPS, you only need to apply one aspect of MOPS to your final recommendation. Thank you for watching this video. The next two videos that will appear on the screen are what YouTube thinks you should watch next.